is a first-class municipality in the province of Negros Oriental. It is located 9 kilometers west of Dumaguete City, the most populated city and capital of the province. The economy of Valencia is largely based on agriculture. Major products include abaca, copra, corn, flowers, vegetables, root crops, and exotic fruit such as lanzones and rambutan. It is composed of 24 barangays, one of which is Liptong. In 2005, the Barangay Liptong Small Coconut Farmers Association, or Bliscofa, was organized. On June 19, 2007, marked its major transformation when the organization was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission with an initial membership of 132 farmers. To date, membership increased to 250 and five SCFOs from five barangays in Valencia became affiliate members of the association. Total assets now reached 1.6 million pesos from the initial seed fund of 68,000 pesos. The desire to help the community through job generation and increased income paved the way for the organization to venture into coconut processing. In 2005, the Virgin Coconut Oil Processing Project of the Association was born through the assistance of PCA Provincial Office in Negros Oriental. The scope was started buying whole nuts from its members. VCO production was through fermentation method starting with simple equipment. To become competitive with other VCO producers, the SCOFA worked for its registration with Food and Drugs Administration. On July 17, 2017, FDA issued its license to operate. DOST helped the organization in improving their product packaging and labeling. PCA also provided additional VCO equipment. Liscafa is processing 350 nuts per day for VCO production. The association is producing Class A VCO, which sells at 450 pesos per liter, Class B at 300 pesos per liter, and cooking oil from the cream at 90 pesos per liter. As the association wanted to utilize other products such as the shell and husk, it also engages in the production of coconut shell novelty items and coir fiber in allied products. PCA through KADP, CHLCPP, and DTI through their shared service facility project provided them the needed equipment. Currently, the organization is earning per month 48,000 pesos for Class A VCO, 13,000 pesos for Class B VCO, 4,000 pesos for cooking oil obtained from the cream, 1,000 pesos for coconut residue or sapal, 30,000 pesos for coco peat, 35,000 pesos for coco fiber, 1,500 pesos for novelty items, or a gross income of roughly 1.6 million pesos a year. At this time, Bliskofa supplies Class A VCO to two buyers in Boracay, six in Bacolod, four in Cebu, 20 in Negros Oriental. These comprise various resorts and spas, hotels, alternative medicine clinics, and dental clinics. The association has also its first VCO export to Japan for an initial of 1,500 liters with an FOB price of 310 pesos per liter. Buyers of Class B VCO are foreigners residing in Negros Oriental for bathing purposes. Purchasers of cooking oil includes local households, foreigners, and processors of cassava and camote chips, producers of VCO-based bath soap and liquid soap. Cocoa peats are being bought by horse farms for horse beds. Plant nursery operators and sugarcane planters that use coca peat as soil neutralizer. Coir fibers are also sold to neighboring cooperatives such as Las Cofamco, which is engaged in geonet making. 
Capturing these markets was made possible through the association's continuous participation in various trade fairs and exhibits at the local and national levels and through the help of other government agencies that promoted their products. Recently, Liskaka was given the opportunity to participate in a project and business matching event in Malaysia and Brunei and in the Malaysia Halal International Trade Fair. This coconut-based enterprise has helped community people earn income as workers of the planet. Uh, I si Evangeline Cabajo. I was working with my work. 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 I was working with my financial. Coconut farmer member like Mr. Ramiro Gedaya and Mrs. Crisanta Kubalan, who used to process matured nuts to copra, now hope to sell whole nuts to the association. Members also benefited from shares of the profit of the association, true dividend earning, and patronage income for those farmers supplying whole nuts. The association was confronted with many challenges and difficulties in their chosen coconut-based enterprise. But the goal of bringing forth economic improvement through increased income among coconut farming households in Valencia remains their inspiration to continue what they have started. As a coconut farmer association, Bliskalfa has already gained its mark as producers of quality virgin coconut oil. I'm thankful to those who have supported in their endeavor. Una sa tanan kami, on behalf sa Bliskalfa, magpasalamat kami sa ginoo nga iya butang itagaan nani na mga idea, o magpasalamat usab kami sa mga gihatag ng mga instrumento, especially sa uh, Philippine Coconut Authority sa PCA, nga para na mo, mo gunis lay utok kay o walay, walay kukunat, wala minahimok.